predictable productivity. So not just productivity, predictable productivity. How are we going to make sure we accomplish all our goals? Just being productive isn't enough, but predictable productivity is what you want to look for. So what predictable productivity means is you being productive over a long period of time. And there are two parts to this on how you can actually do this. The first part is your calendar. We talked about this before on the last call, when we talked about personal strategies, I talked about the calendar as well. So here we're talking about business strategies. Again, we're going to talk about the calendar because like I said on the last call, it's the number one predictor of your goals and your future. And here in business, it's the number one predictor of your revenue and income goals of whether you're going to get there or not. So when it comes to predictable productivity, the first part is your calendar. So you need to schedule in your priorities and scheduling your work. So anything that's priority, anything that's a must get done in terms of productivity for your business needs to be scheduled in. If it's not scheduled in, it's not priority. If it's not scheduled in, it's not real. If it's not scheduled in, it's not going to get done, right? So that's the first part. The second part is batching your work, batching your work. So B-A-T-C-H. ING, batching your work. So what batching means is you group together related work in order to maximize your productivity, to get to the desired outcomes or results in a shorter time frame, or to just get more done in the same time frame, but get more of the work done. So you do that by batching. For example, anybody on here who does content, right? If you're recording content, whether it's for YouTube, whether it's for your business, whether it's courses, training programs, whatever it might be. If you're doing one video a day, seven days a week, not only are you not as productive, you're not as sharp, the, the skills to record content, to be on camera are not as dialed in, but it's just not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to batch. So you can, for example, spend one day doing all your planning and organizing, writing out your content, planning it out, organizing it. Then you can spend the next day recording. So you can go four hours straight and just doing all the recording. So now in one day, all your recording is done and it's organized. The work is batched as opposed to spreading that same work over a week where it's going to be inconsistent. It's going to be up and down and it's going to potentially not even get done. So it's about predictable productivity. Having everything in your calendar is step one. And number two is batching your work. Another way is, for example, on Sunday, planning out your week, planning out the different parts of your week and what that's going to look like and putting similar work together, right? So you batch your work. That's how you get more done ideally in less time. Because it's not just about doing more. It's about doing the right things. The goal isn't to be busy. The goal is to be productive. There's a difference. A lot of people, especially in the entrepreneurship realm, love to keep themselves busy, love to wake up at 5 a.m. for no reason. If you don't have a reason, what are you waking up for? You might as well get some sleep and rest your brain and actually recover, right? It, it makes no sense just to wake up, just to wake up. If you're going to wake up and scroll on social media, it's probably much better if you just get some sleep. It's more productive, right? But if you're going to wake up and you have your work bashed and you know what you're doing, then that's that. So you don't want to be busy. You want to be productive. And if you want to take it one step higher, you don't want to be just productive. You want to have predictable productivity. How you make your productivity predictable is through your calendar, prioritizing everything, having everything booked in. And number two, through batching similar work, putting similar work together. And then the last point on batching that I want to tell you on, on just being productive and doing it in a predictable manner is environment. Your environment in which you work is very important. So if you have an office space or if you have a room in your house where you do your work or even a corner in your house or even a chair that you sit in when you do all your work, whatever it is, but an environment that gets you into that work mode, that work zone, right? That eliminates distractions ideally. So I'll give you guys a couple of examples of this. I've seen John C. Maxwell speak live a couple of different times at different business conferences. John Maxwell is a leadership coach. He's published over 84 books, I think. He's one of the leading experts on leadership. All he talks about is leadership. Very interesting concepts. I think initially he was a pastor. And uh, when I've seen him speak live as well, he also has that, that same energy that you feel off his videos and YouTube and whatnot. He has the same energy live. So you know he's very genuine, authentic. He, he really does what he preaches. He's the person that I've spoken about before where he says, he does a couple things every single day, which is he reads, he writes, and he files every single day. I've talked about that before, right? One thing that he talked about when I was at one of the live conferences is when he works, he has, a, or I think he said when he reads, he has this chair, like this lazy boy chair, one of these big ones that reclines and you can sit on it. And he said that chair is only for that work. I think it was reading he mentioned. So he only sits in that chair. Nobody else is allowed to sit in that chair in his office. It's in the corner of his office. I'm pretty sure if my memory is serving me correctly, he said it was a green chair, just down to the detail, right? And he said, that chair, I only sit in when I read. So he's like, now when I sit in that chair, my mind automatically thinks I'm about to read. I get into that zone of 
focused reading, focused work. So that's an example of your environment being conducive to productivity, right? I'll give you another example. A lot of entrepreneurs, Bill Gates is the most notable one that does this. They do retreats where they have cabins out in the woods. They take a ton of different books with them and they go out into the woods by themselves alone into these cabins and they do these retreats of learning and studying and reading, right? So they set the environment and they batch all of this work to do on this one in this one place. I think Bill Gates is known to have said, I'm pretty sure he said it in a couple of interviews, that most of the important decisions he's made for Microsoft and whatever else he's done has been done in that cabin. He did when he was alone by himself in that environment, right? So that's another aspect of doing productive work is environment, is you wanna set up an environment for yourself to do that work in.